So today we have my first travel vlog of the year. I'm so excited. I think my last one was New York, which is so crazy. It was over a year ago, and I'm so happy that things are finally opening up here in America. So my first trip back was Vegas. <laughs> also, side note, me and my friends have all been double vaxxed for at least two months now, so that's just a preface. But anyways, I went with a group that I was kind of meeting for the first time. I was meeting most of them for the first time, so I didn't want the camera in the face. So it's kind of just a bunch of clips, and I think the best way to share this vlog is to explain it a little bit. So I'm just going to look through the clips and kind of tell you a story because there was definitely a lot that happened. <laughs> So first of all, I flew by myself because everyone else drove, um, so I was a little bit anxious, so I wanted to get a mimosa on my flight because flying usually makes me super nervous, but now that it's been so long, I feel like I like flying now. But anyways, that's besides the point. So while I was standing in line, the guy behind me actually decided to pay for my drink. <laughs> I flew with American Airlines the past two weekends and they've been messing up and delaying my flights so I'm taking a break from them even though my next flight to Hawaii is American Airlines but anyways um, they delayed our flight because they said this, this was the first time they're flying this plane so yeah And then they tried to make up for the time by making my 1 hour and 15 minute flight into a 30 minute flight. So there's a bunch of turbulence at the end. But anyways, yeah, thanks American Airlines. <laughs> but we all stayed at the Rio, which was off the strip, I believe. And that was my first time staying there. It was really nice and really affordable. It's at the Rio, right? Yes. Okay, I'm in here. I have to find my friend's room. 1607. I don't know if I'm gonna use this camera though. Probably not. And then because my flight was delayed, as soon as I got there, I had to start getting ready because I was going to Factory 93, which is like a house and techno show in which Michael Beebe, test pilot, Masio Plex was playing. Fit check. Okay. And it was at the downtown Las Vegas Center, which was actually really pretty. I officially love this venue. This is my first time at this venue. It was very spacious. It's outdoors. You can see the sunset. Love it. Highly recommend if you want to go to a show in Vegas. Um, so we had to show our vaccination card, get a wristband, and then go inside. I loved it because they had nicer bathrooms rather than my usual porta potties that I always have to deal with for EDM shows. All right, here we go. I didn't mean short. On our way. Oh, shit. Nice shot for the What's up? What's <laughs> up? And then I didn't have time to eat dinner, so I had to sneak in a protein bar in my shoe and ate it inside. So, yeah, apparently the security guards saw me putting it in my shoe, but they're just like, whatever. <laughs> Guys, I snuck in my protein bar. Hey, go off, go off. That's Leo. Go off. <laughs> I got the fire, got the fire. And yeah, we just vibed and danced and had so much fun. Here are the clips.
off the night. Um, we did lose a few people for the story times. I'm gonna be using gender neutral names, not that like I feel like you guys can figure out things because you guys don't know who. So one of our friends, I'm just gonna say the name Jordan. Also have my notes right here so I can remember everything. So uh, Jordan got lost at the end and ended up falling asleep in the parking lot. And someone found them and took them to the military base. And then we just got a text from Jordan at like 5 a.m. saying they woke up there and was so confused. Um, but anyways, nothing happened there, and they got home safely, which was really good and really thankful for that. Um, and then our other friend, another gender-neutral name, Alex, also got lost, but then their phone died. So uh, they attempted to walk back to the hotel, even though it was super far, and actually walked into a strip club, and one of the girls at the strip club was able to get Alex a ride home, and that is just actually insane, because <laughs> this person walked so far. And I just felt so bad because I feel like I would have not known where I was and probably walked the opposite way. But anyways, that was the end of day one. Day two, I ate raisin cakes for breakfast. Time for canes for breakfast. And then it's funny because recently when we got exposed, one of the things we got exposed. Anyways. So excited. Canes for breakfast. Ready. And he has his truly ready. <laughs> it's 10 a.m., sir. But it's okay, it's for Vegas. Anyways, it's five o'clock somewhere. I love raining games um, more than Chick fil A. Don't come for me. And then we headed on our way to Area 15, which is like this alien or I don't know, it's a cool museum, but. We bought tickets for Wonk World, which is one of the museums inside, because the museum has a bunch of different rooms that you can choose from, but we just chose Wonk World for that day, which was so much fun. I highly recommend visiting Area 15 in general. There's so many different things you can do there. And, oh, I also actually bought a crystal. I bought a pretty little crystal there. It's an amethyst. I have an amethyst at home already, and I usually don't buy myself crystals. They're usually gifted, but I feel like I, if I'm in a different state, I kind of want to buy it. Just because it's like kind of meaningful, so. Day 2 Vegas, Area 15.
after that, we went swimming at our pool and ended up going to the Marquee Club, which is at the Cosmopolitan because our friend had a table there. Um, I'm not a clubbing person because I don't like that type of music, but since I love Tech House, but it was so, but it was so fun observing everyone at the club because because at that point I sobered up and it was just it was just fun listening to all the funny drunk conversations. And then we stayed up till sunrise. <laughs> Alright, going swimming. This is my fit. Um, this is from Sheen. I think this is from like H&M. And then these shorts were thrifted. I'm just wearing slides. Yeah. Okay, I'm going out to the club now. So this is what I'm wearing. I'm just wearing what I was earlier, um, a bathing suit top with a flannel and a jacket, some flared pants and Air Force Ones. It was just killing time until our flight and then we went to every floor and even some floors twice and couldn't find our car for like a good 20 minutes. Um, so that was a huge loop. I don't know why I'm still holding this. Okay, so it's day three. Um, day four. <laughs> day four, I don't know. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh shoot, okay, so our flight's not till... Four, so we're just chilling, um, yeah, at the Aria. Let's try three one more time. <laughs> <laughs> Fifth time's the charm. No, we weren't at one, were we? <laughs> we didn't no, try we it up. yet. We, we definitely went up. There's no way we were at number one. <sighs> <laughs> I have no say. <laughs> Level one is under the seal. We went down. Ask me more. Ask me the first. Did you lock the car, right? <laughs> um, there's that G wagon again. First floor. Let's try it. Casino. That's where we were. Well, that's where we had to take the elevator to uh, to get to it. Oh my god. The button. That's me. That's us. That's that's us weird. Again. They probably oh. did the same thing as us, and that's why right. it's pushed in like that. What if that was a sign? Okay, okay please. This is more promising. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it was my bad. Maybe I wasn't right. Maybe I'm the problem. Yay. But anyways, that was the end of the Vegas vlog. I'm so excited. Next week I'm going to Utah for this next video, so I can't wait to show you guys. Then we ended our day with Pokey and said goodbye to Vegas. Ending my day off with Pokey. After not after eating um, raisin canes, and that's it. Oh, and a pizza. We finally have Pokey. We have food. Yes! Oh, Vegas. <laughs> uh. Also, I think they fixed up LAX during the pandemic because the lights were super pretty. They have lights now, which I've never seen before. Gosh. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. So you're a tough guy, like you're really rough guy Just can't get enough guy, just always so bad